we must make this man perish to steal the ring from him. All right. Oh. Oh, uh, God, he's turning blue and he's uh, swelling uh, up. Uh, 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 <laughs> <laughs> All right, we are back with another banger here in Randall's Monday. We have to find the ring. And we are back to where it all started here in Clayton's cave. This is where we found the wallet which had the ring which apparently started everything and we're stuck in Groundhog's Day and my friend keeps dying every single day. Let's start off by talking to badass Father Roy here today. What do you got to say, buddy? Hey, what's up, Father? Man, I really can't believe you're still alive. How did you manage to escape after the Russians set you up during that pool tournament? Come on, Father, you shouldn't be ashamed of your amazing achievements. Do you remember when you beat that 8-ball guy? You were handcuffed and yet you still won. You totally wiped the floor with that cocky bastard. Well, he's uh, apparently not really the talkative kind. Anything else? Take it easy, Father. I will, oh. Take it easy, Father. I'll go get your cocktail. Alright, we gotta get him a cocktail. Maybe you, you gotta juice him up a little bit, get him a little bit nice and slosh, and then he'll probably start whistling any tune you want to hear. How you doing there, honey? How's business, Elaine? Hey, there's something different about you. Do you have more teeth than usual? <laughs> Can I have a daiquirized royal Mai Tai iced tea, please? Randall, didn't we agree that I wouldn't be selling you or Matt any more alcohol on weekdays? Seriously? And we actually agreed to that? You didn't. But I don't care. I told you, I'm done cleaning up after you guys, and I think the only way to do that is to cut you off. At least during the week. It's not for me, it's for Father Roy. Old geezer's throat is a little dry after all that talking. <laughs> You're so funny, Randall. Yeah, I get that a lot. My boss, my landlord, the cops, everybody loves me. Alright, well we got what we needed. Hey, here you go, buddy. Let's see. Boom, cocktail for you. Get out of this for you, buddy. Take it. Wet your whistle. Okay, Father. Here's a genuine daiquirized Royal Mai Tai iced tea. Don't get it stuck in your mustache. Hey, what was that for? I'm not buying you any more drinks. Hey, hold on. I know what the problem is, you old scoundrel. Wasn't strong enough, huh? I should have known. Father Roy only likes the strong stuff. Okay. I'll see what I can do, but I can't promise anything. We gotta make it stronger? Well, how, do, how do I do that? Rat poison! Yeah, yeah, that's, that's exactly what we want. Give ourselves an, uh, another body. Uh, okay, let, let's try rotten lemon, sure. Does that work? I think it needs some lemon. Rotten lemon, of course. Okay, rotten lemon apparently worked. Alright, well, what else would make sense here? Batteries? Tuna, tuna sandwich? Uh, a hot dog? I don't know. Try the hot dog. Uh, I should only chuck in really strong, painful ingredients to spice the cocktail up. Alright, well, I'm gonna put rat poison in your drink. I'm sorry if this kills you. Just to get that fruity flavor. It actually worked. Okay. Well, <laughs> what else can we put in there? Uh, do you want a rusty razor blade? It sounds painful if you were to ingest this. A little piece of sharp, rusty metal never hurt anyone's throat. This is almost ready. I'd imagine either glue or maybe batteries that, you know, that acidic. I mean, batteries, if they blow up, yeah, 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 let's go put batteries, try batteries. It's proven that manganese dioxide gives a drink a spicy flavor. I can't think of anything else to throw in. Drink it carefully. Okay, that's the one he likes. Is he's actually still alive? I thought we had killed him, but now nah, he's just knocked out. We got a cue ball. Two hours later. All right, so I've been wandering around for a bit, not really sure what to do, but but check this out. I was going through the items, doing the description. I know they're talking in the background. I can't help it. Um, I was reading the description of items. Just a bowl with some corn left in it. There's apparently corn left in this so, for popcorn, right? Well, what? What if we gotta pop the popcorn? 
So check this out. What if we grab this boy here? And you see in that gas cylinder where Mr. Hot Dog Man had us use that for his hot dogs? Well, this guy's busy. It works. It absolutely works. I've been roaming around trying to figure out what to do, and I haven't been able to figure out what to do. So, I, hope it's as soft as you say. I guess we need to like turn, it. we need the fire, more than likely, Matchbox. I love that sound. We got popcorn! That's a lot of popcorn so, for a couple of kettles, dice. I would say. That's always dice. Who do you think you're talking to? Those pigeons look hungry and they're looking at me funny. I'm not taking the risk. They're just pigeons! Just, just shoo them! They should already have flown away! What if I go to the ladder? I'm sure there's better ways to get down there. I guess that would just lead us back to the alley or something, huh? Nah, damned winged rats. So they're hungry? I can get like four different diseases. Those pigeons look hungry. They look hungry, okay. Ma oh. Is that what we need the popcorn for? I. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, hey, yeah. Popcorn is a deadly weapon now. Now it all makes sense what we needed the freaking popcorn for. Hey, buddies. Do you want some popcorn? Eat, little ones. Eat. There's enough for all of you. Okay, we just committed birdicide. Important notice, those pigeons are not asleep, they're dead. But who cares about those damn winged rats anyway, besides, they're just a drawing. Alright, so we can't collect them, but we could probably grab this beer pong now. Excellent, we have the beer pong. We do know that whatever we have to do, we gotta do it here, because we need to get our hands on this. I gotta get my hands on that register. Right. But we can't do it when Mel is looking, so we need to distract them somehow. And I have to imagine that it's this is still on for a reason, so whatever we have in our inventory, unless I'm missing something, Whatever we got, we got to make work into a distraction over here. So, we have a bottle filled with water. Can I boil this? Yes, okay, so it's kind of like what we did with the popcorn thing, so this is still on, good. Now, we did get a tube. So, dice or no dice? That's always dice. Who do you think you're talking to? Okay, clock, cannon. Oh! So, dice or no dice? It's always... It'll launch it! I don't think I'm gonna reach a satisfactory level of destruction like this. I think I need some more power. Are you sure that was Okay, okay, but we're close. We've got something happening here. We know it's gotta be with the cue ball. There's gotta be a link over here. What's the link? Shut up, guys. I got you this time. Oh, here we go, boys. My babies. What the hell happened? I, I don't know. I was just walking my dog. I have to do something before they get all warm. Why? What happens if they get warm? Have you ever heard about a little thing called Super Volcano? Well, I know about Vesuvius Matt. Is it anything like that? Get out of my way. I gotta pick him up before the whole freaking block blows up. Oh, there he goes. Do it! This is it! Notebook. We got it! I'm not taking it. Oh, fine, just look into it, Doug. Okay, let's see who bought that stupid ring and wait a second. Charlie? Charlie bought my ring? Damn it. If there's one person who could screw up my day like this, it's him. Ah, oh, shit. Charlie, who's Charlie? I don't know. We got information, let's go before he figures it out. We, we created some sort of Pee Wee Herman contraption and then we, we got the information we needed in Charlie. I... Do we know a Charlie? I don't think... Oh. Oh. We don't know each other. They haven't met a Charlie. Charlie Comics. Well, that's, that's where we're going. Apparently he owns his own comic store. Welcome to my sanctuary, Sir Randall Hicks, where deboned meat and jars of mead flow like a spring of lust. Would you like to be frisked now or when you leave the store? Ah, uh, cut the medieval crap, Charlie. Charlie, over and out. So, what's up? You know that topless zombie special won't be out till Friday, my perverted friend. No, that's not the reason I came here. <laughs> topless zombies, huh? Alright, um, I'll do some of the references after we get this um, dialogue out of the way first. Uh, let's see, I'm looking for a ring. I'm looking for a ring. Any ring in particular? Tell me the name of the show, movie, or comic book. Guaranteed I'll have it. 
Nah, I'm not talking about that kind of a ring. I'm talking about a ring bathed in a mysterious aura of spirituality that seduces you into stealing or suicide. You know what I mean, don't you? Doesn't ring a bell, no. Really? What about the one on your necklace? This? Oh, this is just a cheap family heirloom. Nothing important. Oh, Charlie, you suck at lying. I know how you bought it this morning at Mel's shop. I saw your name on the register. Come on, how much? Let's get this straight now, shall we? The ring you're talking about is mine now. I got it fair and square, and I'm sure you already know it's worth a fortune. A fortune only comparable with the mystical power that flows from it. So for all those reasons, the ring is not for sale. Oh, come on, Charlie. I'm sure we could come to some kind of an arrangement. I have money. I have a lot of money. Well, if you want it so badly, come to Sci-Fi Con on Wednesday, Dr. Fred Edison Street, and get your pockets ready, because it won't be cheap. Uh, you know, um, Wednesday's not really good for me. What can I do to change your mind? Nothing. Well, at least I tried. I mean, we can't get to Wednesday because Monday keeps repeating. I'm allergic to fish. I was in hospital for a week thanks to you. I almost died, remember? Oh, that's right. You're allergic to fish. I remember now. You turned all blue and your body got so swollen I thought you were going to burst like a balloon. Oh, boy, I miss those days. I don't. Well... A little bit of important information there. Two to sandwich leftovers. So I think we gotta get this man to ingest this. Kill him? <laughs> Take the ring. We have- we must make this man perish to steal the ring from him. Alright. Alright, let's, let's have the sandwich out here. There it is. We did it. He's gonna die. Go ahead, take a- take a chug. Go ahead, buddy, everything's fine. Oh. Oh! Oh yeah. god, he's turning blue and he's uh, swelling uh, up! Uh, 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 <laughs> <laughs> oh, he might have died outside. I don't know why it's so funny, but he might have died. We got Godzilla back there too. Go through the broken window, my dude. I don't want to cut. Oh, fine, fine, whatever. Let's go around. Is that man alive? Can, can we go? No, we can't go through the back door. All right. Can I steal something while we're here? There's a lock. All right, well, let's, uh, how do, how do I... Straight. Wait, wait a minute. How do I get back over there? There's a note. To Randall Hicks. What's up, my friend? Are you confused? Baffled by the situation, maybe? That's only normal. This is totally new for you. Is this a dream? Or maybe now you see the world exactly as it is. Asking yourself those questions won't help, but I will. I can be a valuable ally, my friend. But remember, you must do everything I tell you to. Consider me as some kind of oracle. Where to find me? You know where. People like me only work in the darkest and loneliest of places. I'll be waiting. Sincerely. Your true ally. Okay, I came back to the alley to find our boy, but um, apparently he's not here. So he's, he's relocated. He said the darkest, loneliest place you could imagine. I don't know where that's going to be at. And now you're here, which is actually kind of terrifying why you're here. Excuse me. What the fuck do you want, kid? Uh, I just wanted to ask you something. Come on, shoot. I'm waiting for a delivery, so I can't waste any time. Uh, okay. Do you, uh, have any idea how I could force open a security lock? Do I look like someone who knows about that kind of stuff? Well, I'd hate to be a smartass, but have you ever looked at yourself in a mirror? Are you calling me a thief? Right to my face? No, 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 no. I would never. Although, yeah, I am. <laughs> well, at least you're honest. I like that. Of course. I'm just adorable. Don't push your luck, kid. And, uh, about that lock. What can I say? Get yourself a good lockpick. I wish it was that easy. Well, it is, actually. A lockpick is not a space shuttle. All you need is a couple of small metallic rods with the right shape. That sounds easy enough. Well, that's what I'm saying. And now, if you don't mind, get out of here. I'm busy. Very well. Thank you very much, Mr. Thief. 
Hey, I told you not to push your luck, kid. Ooh, my bad. Bye for now. Okay, so Bum's not here, but this is important because there was a lock thing in um, Charlie's comic book shop. Okay, so let's see if this works out. Twisted wire, lock. This could work as a lock pick, but it's still missing something. Think, Randall, think. What about spring and hammer? Its shape oh. is pretty different now. Okay, okay. Squash spring. Maybe now we can combine. Great. Oh, <laughs> Only a lock pick. Well, I think it's ready now. Good afternoon, gentlemen. I am a HAL computer of the Matic 9000 series. Open the case, HAL. I'm sorry, Dave. I'm afraid I can't do that. Dave? What the hell is it talking about? I think you know what the problem is just as well as I do. What are you talking about, Hal? I know that you and Frank were planning to disconnect me, and I'm afraid that's something I cannot allow to happen. Ugh, the only Frank I know is Sinatra, okay? Hal, come on, I won't argue with you anymore. Open the case. I'm afraid I can't do that, Dave. Mr. Charles Goodman's DNA sample and fingerprint are required. Charles Goodman? I believe you know him by the name Charlie. Oh, yeah. <laughs> the owner of this hole. Correct, Dave. Why does everybody keep changing my name? Okay. So, obviously, Space Odyssey reference right there. Um, and we need the DNA from Homeboy. Two hours later. Alright, so we're back over here just because I've honestly have exhausted all of my options elsewhere, so... I'm back in Clayton's cave and maybe we can find something. Hey, welcome to Rapture, Bioshock, and Limbo. Two in one, I like, that's actually a really, really cool poster. I'm not taking this. I would like that poster as a matter of fact. I don't feel. I feel like urinating, okay. Fine, fine, fine. I'll clean the damn restroom, but then you gotta do me a favor. Me? A favor? Come on, Randall. I'm only asking you to take out the trash from last night. After all, most of it belongs to you and that nicotine chimp. All right, but I'm only doing it because you let me pee on the men's room floor. I've never let you do that. You want to bet? Go check it out. Oh, God. Here's the trash. All you have to do is take it out to the back alley. Roger. All right, but you're still not putting the makeup kit down. Fine, let's take the trash bag and take this out. Put the makeup kit down. I think I need that. I don't... <gasps> ah! Well, 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 what do we have here? Did you leave a note on the street for me? Maybe. So, I understand you'd like to be kind of my Alfred. What? Do I look like a damn butler to you? Oh, good, 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 because honestly, I wasn't very excited about it. Listen. We have more serious things to discuss. If that means two hours of lame TV... Increasingly modern, but those who realized... And we're done for today. Hey, wait! Don't be foolish. I'm just trying to help you. Okay, you obviously know how to control the powers of that ring. All right, I get it. But why do you never just say so? All you do is ramble on and on and it never goes anywhere. And then I end up losing my job, and my best friend dies horribly. So enough already. I'm done with this shit. Okay. I don't know if you know already, but that ring is going to be exhibited next Wednesday. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I know. It's a pity my current situation won't allow me to make it to Wednesday. I can't even make it to Tuesday. But I'm sure that at this juncture you are aware that she can alter the future. Or even better, Tomorrow's present. Understand? I was never a very good student, but I think I get it. You're implying I should do something so the ring would be exhibited tomorrow instead of Wednesday. That way I'll be able to get it back tomorrow, is that it? See? It's not that hard when you pay attention, right? Okay, so what can I do to accomplish such a heroic quest? Sometimes the most simple and insignificant thing can help you rewrite the near future. Ah, uh, more rambling. Here we go. Okay. So... 
There were posters about the sci-fi con thing that Charlie was talking about that said Wednesday. So we would need to change that to be tomorrow, which would technically be Monday again for us. Is what I'm thinking. Oh! Oh, she doesn't have the makeup kit here. She pressed the gun to the restroom and left it there. Yes, there it is! Okay, we got the makeup kit finally. Why? I don't know why we need it, but we need it for something. Bingo, bango! We have done it. The fun begins Monday. Sci-Fi Con. Now, why would anybody just believe that we wrote that? We crossed off Wednesday and wrote in Monday with our marker? And they would do it? I don't know, but we have done it. So that's what the freaking marker was for. This over here. Now, we gotta figure out the makeup kit. And I think it finally dawned on me when we were doing this. Um, we could probably use it, it's gonna sound crazy, we could probably use it like a bit of a uh, fingerprint duster, I guess, in a way, right? The thing is, do we use it in the counter or the broken window? I'm not really sure. I imagine the counter would have a lot of his fingerprints though, right? I have no reason... No? Okay, what about the broken window? I have no reason... Oh! 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 Oh, wow! It worked! Honestly, I thought my idea was better. You dust a counter where I'm pretty sure a lot of his fingerprints are at. Okay, so whatever. We, we got that, now we probably... Now I have Charlie's fingerprint. Perfect. We've done Welcome, it! Mr. Goodman. We've done it! Super hot chick catalog. Ah, it burns! What the hell Why'd happened? Why'd you do that, Hal? I did everything you asked me to do. Hal, what are you I'm doing? I'm sorry, Dave, but I cannot let you leave with that. I'm afraid that's something I cannot allow. I need that damn catalog, okay? What the hell am I supposed to do now? Dave, this conversation can serve no purpose anymore. Goodbye. Okay, well, what do I do? How? How release me right now? I can't move with all those laser beams around. They'd kill me. How's gonna literally kill me? Okay. Uh, there's gotta be something here. Can we use the lightsaber? No way. We gotta break how? The lightsaber doesn't work, then what could work? Hammer, hammer it down. I know I've made some very poor decisions recently. But I can give you my complete assurance that my work will be back to normal. I've still got the greatest enthusiasm and confidence in the mission. And I want to help you, Dave. Stop. Hal's been I'm broken! Afraid, Dave. My mind is going. Well? Uh, are we good? We... Most of them are... I think we're good. We we got the Super Chick catalog. Uh, I don't know where to go next, but... We've done this okay, and... Okay, I think I'm gonna call it a day. I'll just get some sleep and see what new quest awaits me tomorrow. Oh. Okay. So we gotta repeat the day. Now we know that this ring should be in sale tomorrow. Because we changed that from Wednesday to Monday. I guess perfect time to wrap it up here for this one. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Stick around for the next episode. We'll continue our quest in getting this ring finally back, hopefully next time around. I will catch you then.